Alright. <clears throat> Alright, I'm here. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a great start. I just knock everything off the desk. Uh. <coughs> right. Here we go. Hi, Sven. How you doing? Time for work to d for you. All right, then. Uh, I don't know if you're even still here anymore, but hope your day goes well. And... Yeah. Alright, so... I was about to go into Battle Candace, wasn't I? So, let's do it then. Good thing I got an Infernape on my team. This should make it reasonably trivial. I make it up? Shit, no I can't. Ugh. We spend all our time battling in the blizzards of Snowpoint City. We'll show you how it's toughened us up. Hey Baslan, how you doing today? Yep, Pokemon today. See if I can get this game done, finally. Well, I doubt I'll do it today, but we'll see. I'm all right. Thanks for asking. How about you? I know today has only just started for me because I overslept a bit. <laughs> I wanted to start like 40 minutes ago, but I overslept and was like eating my breakfast literally as I was getting like the stream set up. <laughs> I just had an apple. It wasn't exactly much, but better than nothing. <laughs> What's of your toughness? Yeah, I was absolutely exhausted last night. Are you feeling the chill of fatigue? I was last night, but not anymore. A good trainer goes for the win no matter what their condition is. Yeah, if you asked me that question yesterday, I would have definitely felt fatigue. Most important meal of the day? <laughs> yeah, all I had was an apple. Not much, but... You know, it works for me. You're back at work. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm guessing that's negative based on the sad face, but I hope it goes as well as it can do for you. <laughs> but important meal of the day. Wait, but important meal of the butt. <laughs> butt spots back at work. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so hopefully I'm not going to be as much of a klutz, even though I literally started the stream by knocking everything off the desk. But yeah, now that I'm actually awake properly... Tentacruel... Uh, I thought it was Startail. Yeah, I slept from like... What did Pokemon Sleep say? Like... <sighs> I forget. It was like so- it was like around 10 hours I slept, which is a bit for me. <laughs> I don't usually sleep that long. Normally when I fall asleep it's around like 11 o'clock p.m. and I tend to wake up around 8. So yeah, that's actually 9 hours. That still sounds a bit much, though. Like... I might be thinking more along the lines of when I actually decide to let myself wake up, as opposed to like go being like, oh, I don't need to get up, go back to sleep. <coughs> That's right, a good... <coughs> That's right, a good trainer will win, no matter what the situation may be. That's incredible. You didn't get to sleep until 2, back up at 5.30. <laughs> oh, two and a, uh, three and a half hours. That sounds rough. <laughs> uh, 
That's incredible. I butted get to sleep until 2, but up at 5.30. <laughs> do you do that every day? Or like most days? Or is that just like a work day? Even so, that sounds miserable <laughs> to me. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to sleep. Like, I wouldn't be able to live like that. <laughs> All right, can I get up here? Or have they fixed the bug? I think they've probably fixed the bug, haven't they? <laughs> uh, I don't really know this puzzle very well. It's too, too cold. I can't even feel my t tongue. I need to get a better coat. Or maybe like one of those scarves that you put over your face. That might help you. Simi Sierra in the chat. Um, well, the timer's not even going. <laughs> there we go. Just in case I want to make a highlight, I'll know where in the stream it is. Hopefully one day I'll get a better system so I don't have to have a timer in the corner of the screen. I could just jot it down on a notebook, but I find like doing this is so much easier with a screenshot so I can be like, ah okay, there in the stream is something hi like highlightable. like as for sleep habits I would rather like like I want to be someone who can wake up and be up by eight o'clock but it's like not exactly the easiest thing the result it's cold bitter cold uh, all right so swap you around Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> well done, Boswan, for catching the Simi Seer. Uh, not that way. Uh. Sleep routine seems like the hardest achievement in life. Yeah, it's definitely not one of the easiest things ever, but I feel like it's honestly easier than a lot of other things. Is the is the gym's trick floor making it making you a little hot under the collar? If you can't maintain your cool in battle, you'll freeze up. Like, like I'm someone who like wants to be tidy, like. It's like, I'm not, like, leaving, like, you know, like, dirty plates, dirty mugs around the place, like, all the time. Like, it's like I'm kind of the kind of person who kind of, like, leaves clutter around when it could go somewhere else. It's like I need to, like, take the time to rearrange everything in my home, give everything a definitive home, then I know where to put things rather than just leaving them on a table somewhere because I don't know where else to put them. I feel like that's honestly the hardest for me. Uh, yeah, I'm looking around the office and I can see a bunch of stuff on a table that is definitely not supposed to be there. Like, true, true, I did, um, <clears throat> have to move everything aside to do some work, um, organizing Pokemon cards, <laughs> of all things. Like, why am I even pretending that it's something like, you know, like, I did work, I'm productive. No, I was arranging Pokemon cards. <laughs> and I needed a lot of desk space. 
too many flat spaces. Yeah, I do have like... Like... <coughs> In my office there is a fair bit of table space. So yeah, it kind of does just open itself up to being like, hey, leave stuff here. <laughs> yeah, like normally it is tidier, but right now it's just not. Because I just shoved everything out the way into one spot. I also need to like buy some drawers or stuff to like put stuff in so it's like put away properly. Like I look over like behind like by the TV that I'm playing the game on right now and I see a bunch of wires, like HDMI cables. My PS5 controller's over there. I've got an old hard drive there too. Hi um Fajuri esque. I'm sorry if I just butchered your name. <laughs> How you doing today? And also, nah, nah. Fury. Okay, I'll call you Fury then. <laughs> Hi Fury, how you doing today? Don't worry, everyone does. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being so forgiving. Wait, what was the Pokemon coming in again? Oh well. Felix. Okay, yeah, I made the right decision. Take you down. Oh, of course. Oh, not even sturdy. Goodbye, Steelix. surprisingly cool. At least I have my warm boots. Evolution? What? Slap Chop is evolving! Machoke, the superpower Pokemon. Machoke's boundless power is very dangerous, so it wears a belt that suppresses its energy. Where does it get that belt from, though? Does it make them? But it appeared right after it evolved, so where did it come from? <laughs> Machoke! Man, you forgot how awesome these games were. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon is a very fun game. Like, BDSP has a lot wrong with it. But I feel like the main things that are wrong with it are actually, like... Just, like, what it isn't, what it isn't that, like, the other remakes are, if that makes sense. I am hopelessly lost right now. Like, um, like thinking about what like Alpha Sapphire is, like that's what everyone was hoping for in a, a Diamond and Pearl remake was something more akin to Alpha Sapphire, uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And so was I, so I was, oh hello, my willpower was shaped in temp- Tempered by howling blizzards, I'll bring it to bear on you. That, um... Yeah, it's like too faithful in the wrong areas and unique. Uh, well. Like, the Grand Underground is pretty good, if you ask me, honestly. Yeah, it just feels like it was just too faithful in the wrong places. 
If it was like a faithful remake of Platinum, now that would be a different story, I feel. But like... It's like everything Platinum fixed, BDSP unfixed, if that makes sense. Oh shit. Pokemon Gold was the last one you played. You need to dust off the Switch and play these again. Yeah, like, BDSP is still good. It's just... It could have been so much better, but it just isn't. Which sucks. Pokemon Gold was the last one you played. I didn't play Gen 2. Like... <laughs> um... <coughs> well, I was born, but, like, I... I didn't play Pokemon until Gen 4. That's when I was, like, old enough to play. <laughs> and I didn't even know about it until Gen 4, and I got given Pokemon Diamond. So, yeah. You weren't even phased. Absolutely heartbroken when the batteries in the cartridge ran out and you lost your buddies to the digital never. Ooh. That sounds really painful. <laughs> Rest in peace to Furies, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel brutally ancient, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, well, if it makes you feel any better, I've had that feeling of being brutally, uh, feeling brutally ancient before as well. Because I know I'm younger than some people, but I'm older than a lot of others, so... Yeah, we all have our turns with being ancient, don't we? <laughs> Alright, move you all. Where do level 29s go? 28, 30, okay. Uh, oh. Uh, no. Like, I- like, I know it's not real quite the same story, but, like, my original, um, Pokemon Diamond that I mentioned that I got, like, way back, I lost it. I think someone stole it at school, and I never got to f never got it again- never found it again. So, <laughs> yeah, I've lost all my Pokemon Diamond friends as well. <laughs> Careful, Boswan. Sounds like you're poking a fire right there. <laughs> Can I get up here? I don't know how I like, to do this, like, glitch. Don't know if it's like if I'm doing it right at all, but oh, whatever. Let me clear that. I feel like do it using the D-pad for this might be easier. Clear that. So I need to, like... Okay, I think I see how to get there. You can't talk. You bought Pokemon Red when it first came out. Ooh. I feel so young! Oh, I'm lightning is actually quite nice. <laughs> Fuck, I missed! Here, now here, and... Oh, hello. I've only been involved with Pokemon for a short time. I've managed to get this far because skilled friends toughened me up. Hey, Ghost of Orchids, how you doing today? Have a good stream? Thank you. I will try my best to, and I hope you have a great day too. Have a good butt. <laughs> If you agree with butt spot, have a good butt. <laughs> Can 
I kill this in one hit? I can't believe how tough you are. Hey, Blue Gloss, how are you doing today? <coughs> uh, right, so switch you around and. Fuck. There. Right, so here. To get to that spot, I want to go up this way, around here, and then down here, and there. Cool. How do I clear that snowball? Okay, that one looks reasonably easy. The do in the chat if anyone wants it. If I could clear my throat, that would be nice. Okay, so this way... I need to get to the bottom one of... that, like, two segments piece? So here and then down here, and we should be good. Right, please be good. Yes. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough. I did it! Woo! But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you what I mean. Get ready to lose! No, you get ready to lose. I got an Infernape on my team. Yeah, your Snover is not gonna be a happy chappy in a minute. <laughs> Yay, Blue do for me. Right. Burn down that little baby tree. <coughs> One <de> <coughs> yeah. I need a fucking drink, that's what I need. <laughs> Take another drink then. <laughs> All right, Sneasel. Low sweep. Oh shit! It's faster than me. also super effective. Mm, yeah, whatever. Okay. This should still kill? Yeah, easily. <laughs> Charm. I'll switch to Nosty for this one. Then I can keep uh, Infernape for a bonus now. <laughs> Hopefully this won't kill me with a psychic type attack. Or Ice Punch. Close. She's probably gonna use a full restore. Yeah. <coughs> I 
and I'll continue using Aerial Ace, and then I will outspeed and win. <laughs> Delaying the inevitable, that's a hyper potion. Still enough to fully heal though. Oh nice! <laughs> Must have got two low rolls than a high roll. Cool. Blazing Bark wants to learn Beat Up. That's nah, probably better than Roar. Bomb of Snow. Here we go with Clamber Flame. I'm going to break the ice and bring out my last resort Pokemon. You're only just now breaking the ice? Must be a one hit. Yeah. <laughs> Bye bye. Nice. <coughs> I must say, I've warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little. Wow, you're great. You've earned my respect. I think your focus and will bowled us over totally. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to give you this. Thank you very much. The Icicle Badge from Candace. An Icicle Badge I just gave you? Because you have it, you can use the Hidden Move Rock Climb from your Poketch. Oh, and take these too. Stickers. And TM72s, which are Avalanche. Each TM72 contains the move Avalanche. If the user takes damage, the move's power is doubled. Can you imagine what sort of focus you'd need to pull it off? Well, it's kind of a simple move, isn't it? It's just a nice type revenge. Alright, heal up. Dun 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 dun! Let's use the PC, because why not? The PC, for the most part, is kind of useless since you can just wirelessly connect to it. So you must be 27, yep. stay. Or... No. You lot go down there. There. Cool. It's Musty's turn. Let's finally go and save Barry from Jupiter. <laughs> Ooh, 
course. I got through all that grass just for right at the end of my choke to stop me. You're like the bodyguard of Lake Acuity or something, or if the Teen Galactic runs sir outside. Oh, so close. Well, the hail's gonna kill it. Wait! Oh. You didn't knock off my lucky egg. Oh, thank you for not. It is still there, right? Thank God. Ah! You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic! Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake? <coughs> I've become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Bellstone HQ. Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should t keep out Team Galactic's way. Don't you- don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now if you'll excuse me. Thank you for telling me where you're going. <laughs> yeah, that's why I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi is suffering. I'm gonna get tougher. It's not about winning or losing, that's not enough. I have to be stronger. <laughs> Sounds like Barry's had his pride hurt a little bit. Alright, next stop, Veilstone. There, would you look at those alt those antenna? I don't know what they do, but they are some mighty impressive antenna. Hey, it's you! I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about any storage key. How convenient. Storage key. <laughs> Our tail roared. <laughs> Something like that, right? <laughs> or looks rain. As he sounds in like the X and Y anime. Dust stone. Could use that on a Murkrow or, or a Mistrevis or a Hone Edge if they were in this game. Or, no, not Hone Edge, a Dublade. Well, what have we here? A trainer who's lost their way? Nah, I know where I'm going. I'm on my way in to defeat your boss and take down Team Galactic. Golbat versus Crobat. I wonder who will win. What a surprise. <laughs> Oh, it's that move. Mm. Nah. You've lost, but you won. That burns me up to 11. Uh... 
Hopefully I can connect to the PC from here. Is this right? Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You barge right into our HQ. You must not know what fear is, kid. No, I know what it is. I just... I'm not scared. <laughs> Ball of zinc. Someone's honking their horn outside. Can you please stop? I'm trying to stream in here. <laughs> You're the first intruder we've had in our HQ. Cops in the chat if anyone wants it. Goodbye, Dust Ox. Bronzor. Switch for Clamber Flame for this one. Sure, why don't you just get all cocky about it? I didn't say a thing. I just won the battle. Did not say a word about it. And I'm cocky apparently. I'm a Team Galactic member, but I don't even have a Pokemon. I'm the gruntiest of the grunts. It's my fault though. I still don't know how the warp panels connect. I wouldn't have a clue how they connect either. So I guess I'd be the gruntiest of the grunts too, along with you. Who do you think you are desecrating the halls of our HQ? Hey, I caught the dust pops. Hey, glad me out. Goodbye, Glamio. I'm just sweeping everything in, in my way here. Gust. Uh, here to protect. Physical attackers, let's get rid of confusion. A tough old trainer is what you are. We get around in he Galactic HQ by a system of round warp panels. Do you think we you will ever learn the way they connect? Good luck. I'm guessing by connect you mean like, you know, which panel leads where? In which case, no, I often forget. <laughs> but it is just a matter of trial and error. It's not too complicated. I think it's this. I think you want to go through this warp panel. Yeah, I think this is right. Hey now, our, t our HQ is a state of the art facility. A snot nosed kid like you ought to keep your dirty hands to yourself. Honestly, how is this a state of the art facility? It feels like it's just a maze with nothing happening here. 
It's not like you see like very many labs or anything. You just go through a weird corridor with warp panels in it to take you to other rooms. But there's nothing even in the rooms. They're mostly just empty. So it's a state-of-the-art maze, if anything. Sorry, something caught my attention. <laughs> scientist. I just realized I should have been doing my board voice. You and your Pokemon weren't part of my calculations. Our boss is trying to create an entirely new world. A world only for us, for Team Galactic. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. Sludge bomb in this ominous puddle. There's the galactic key. Conveniently right by the door that you use it for. Bit of time as any to go heal. Thank you. Uh, so you. Doing it in the wrong order, but who cares? Is that right? Yep. And then I move you all up. Move you down here. through the main building. Oh, not that door though. Either the other two doors, it doesn't matter which one. Oh, I wanted a double battle, shit. Having fun scampering around our HQ, you sneaky intruder. Your trailblazing will go out in a blaze of glory right now. Not oh, really. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I thought I'd have Nosty out, but oh well. I go back. Another gold bat. Send down Nosty so it can be another gold bat versus Crobat showdown.
don't know why I'm yawning. I'm not even tired. And again, I am a little hungry. <laughs> a single apple is not really that substantial, is it? Like, it's good for you, but it doesn't really fill you up, does it? <laughs> The trailblazing streak lives on. So what? You have momentum. It's too late. The experiment's done. Right, elegant. Row, row, row your boat. And ding dong. Here we go. You should be tired out by now. It's Team Galactic's turn to shine. Team Galactic hit their peak with the Galaxy team like, like 200 years ago. So yeah, it's way past its prime now. Good afternoon, Rope Man. <laughs> There we go. Here we go with the hideous smell. <laughs> How are you doing today? Only two? Yay. <laughs> Only two. Silcoon! I can't really do the voice that Silcoon has in the anime where he goes, he's like, I think I'm better at Cascoon! I'm better at that one rather than <laughs> My voice doesn't really go that high. The great Molly Owl Mind is fine. Afternoon! Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm well rested today this time. I slept for like 10 hours. And overslept, so I was a little late for the stream, but oh well. I don't. What? I don't get it. What's your rush? Well, to an extent, I want to be finished with this game. <laughs> 10 hours sleep, you're jealous. <laughs> I didn't exactly want to sleep that long, it's just what happened because of how tired I was. I won't let you disrupt our research. This is for Teen Galactic. You don't really look like you're looking at research. You you look like you're watching a kid's TV show, honestly. Kadabra? Yeah. It's always Kadabra with these guys in Teen Galactic, isn't it? I, well, I tried to like calculate like how much sleep I tend to get and I came up with nine hours which sounds a bit much. I got whipped. I look pathetic. <laughs> and it's being live streamed to the world. Our boss is a scientific genius. He will make the power of legendary Pokemon his own. What are you watching? Ah, your research is the Happy Happy Egg Club. My egg hatched around Great Marsh. I have a ha healthy Burmy. Yeah, that was a while ago, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, I'm definitely on the right track here. So, yep, all good. Are you enjoying your unescorted, unauthorized, and unsettling tour of Teen Galactic HQ? Yeah, very much so, thank you. Hey there, little trainer. You're famous among Teen Galactic. 
The order has been issued. We get a promotion if we put you down. Oh god. I'm, I'm only 10 years old. Like, I hope you realize that. Boing boing, boing boing. Alright, this should be easy. One down. Double level up. Well, Becco in the chat if anyone wants it. And goodbye, Stunky. <clears throat> Another Kroger. That should be easy. And a glam meow. That should also be. That should. Uh, <coughs> that should be even easier than the stunky, honestly. Even though I killed the stunky in one hit. Bye bye, Krogan. And oh, critical hit. That was a bit overkill, but oh well. And bye bye Glam Meow. Never stunky. <laughs> that stunky is doomed. A nasty killer in one hit. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, ow. The stunky exploded in my face. Well, um, Nosti's face, I should say. Let me do what I want. I want to put down a ten-year-old kid. I just blew my promotion. Oh, more Pekko escaped. Oh, wait. It doesn't matter what happens to the Team Galactic HQ building. Soon, all will belong to Team Galactic. What's so special about you anyway? You're just like any other little kid trainer anywhere else. Because I'm actually doing something about the criminals trying to destroy the universe. You know, I feel like people who are actually seriously capable of like destroying the universe are a bit beyond local law enforcement, honestly. <laughs> like standard law enforcement. So you gotta have a ten-year-old little kid solve it for them. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Yep, better send in the kid. Ten this a ten-year-old little girl, like, we need her to stop. Um, the criminals from remaking the universe. Although I'd hardly expected to see that the trainer is a mere child. I'd heard from, that our commanders had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi, Mesper, and Azelf, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But you still came to save them out of- rescue them out of pity? Such pitiful, useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You were compelled to come here by such vacuous fake, fake, sentimentality. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that word. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Alright then.
A fully grown 27 year old man is about to get whooped by a 10 year old. <laughs> God, it's windy outside today. You've got a little Murkrow and I've got an Infernate. You might have the type advantage, but yeah. That is what's gonna happen. You've got a Golbat and I've got a Crobat. Again, who do you think ha is going to win this more, like... Um, like... Like, oh, well, if it was like a level 1 Crobat against a level 100 Golbat, then the, the Golbat will win, but... <laughs> but like... Oh, wow, it's actually a bit more durable. But yeah, most of the time, a Crobat will defeat a Golbat, typically. <laughs> Though literally Golbat's mouth looks big enough that it could actually swallow Golbat a Crobat whole. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> and I think your last Pokemon is Sneasel. What hope does it have against an Infernape? My last Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Since since like power and authority is dictated in Pokemon battles in this universe, I think you are kind of screwed in this interaction. Interesting and quite curious. I see, you are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion towards Pokemon. How wasteful, such emotions are but mere illusions. And like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. And that's why I've abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. Well, I don't think that's how it works. Like, no matter how hard you try to not feel emotions, you can't help but feel emotions. But it doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. That'd be useful in case like, I find like an emergency shiny or something. Thank you very much. The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. But it is not anything that I require. <coughs> Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. That's correct, Mount Coronet, where you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and then put an end to everything. No, I will bring about a new beginning for everything. Okay, bye. Oops, sorry, I bumped the mic. Alright, here we are in the lab. Okay, let's save those lake trio. You. You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? Because he doesn't have security. 
We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. <coughs> but what if you end up needing that stuff later? But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for your insulting me at the lake. Yeah, you're about to get whooped as well. I hope you understand that. So close. <laughs> Screw your kinesis. I can still hit you anyway. You're a physical fighter and you're a water type. You need a water type move. Preferably a um, physical one. And that's exactly what Aqua Tail is. Uh oh, Kinesis is coming back to bite me in the ass. So now I got lowered accuracy and I'm confused. Come on, Infernape, you can do it. Nice. Gotta give it to you, Saturn. You are putting up more of a fight than your boss did. Alright, time to switch. Get rid of that lowered... The lowered accuracy and the confusion. Saturn is definitely putting up more of a fight. <sighs> You're a tough kid, but I still pity the likes of you. Gah, what makes you so tough? <coughs> Fine, do whatever you want with those free Pokemon. Press a button on the machine to set them free. <laughs> but then it could just be it kills them. Yeah. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the free Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. That's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? Pressing that button is the only, like, thing of consequence that you actually do in this game. Like, everything else, every other time you, like, fight Team Galactic, they're not doing anything... Like, the only things you stop are, like, them stealing a Clefairy and a Baneri. That's it. That's the only other thing you actually do. Because go into Mount Coronet right now, all you do is just fight the commanders, and then you'll see Mesper and Azelf actually come and prevent Cyrus from achieving his goal, so... Wait, where am I going? So, right now, I don't have to do anything, and Yuxi, Mesper, and Azelf would go and just finish the job for me, so... Why do I have to go to Mount Coronet? Because <laughs> the story demands it.
Right. Warburg City is the next stop. with the rules that I'm kind of cheating at. <laughs> Honey pops. Okay, level 29. Found him in the chat. Here? No, here. There we go. And sandy sweat. Delightful. Ugh. <laughs> Just the thought of like being at the beach and you've got like sand like mixing in with your sweat. Ugh, sounds na that sounds horrible. Horrible and nasty. Ugh. It could be itchy as hell as well. Well I guess it, what difference would it make from just being like wet from like being in the ocean and getting like when you walk like like when you've been in the ocean and your feet are wet so when you come out onto the sand you'll have sand over your feet like what's the difference there i suppose i don't know the full of like sand clinging to your my skin does not sound pleasant to me <laughs> Especially dry sand, like that of a hippopotamus. Oh yeah, there's this part of the mountain that's like... ...annoying to get around. Uh, do I have any repels? I do. Didn't catch the hound doom. Fuck. Yeah, this is like really annoying, and I don't think using the D pad is the right way to do it. Like, I'm supposed to like do it like this. There we go. <laughs> It's like that ledge is way too, like, sensitive to me being there and making me jump. Max Potion. Ether. Right. Right in there. And here is where we should see some Teen Galactic runs, but let's just skip them because who cares about them? North. Thank you. Thank you for doing as you're told. Good morning. 
Good afternoon, Stein. How are you doing today? Don't mind me just scaling a mountain. Go into the legendary. Yep, that's where I'm off to. Trying to go just as fast as I can. <laughs> So that I can be finished. Our boss is going to do something huge at the summit. But here I am dealing with some pesky intruder. You're spoiling the atmosphere. Can you lose quickly, right? Uh, you can lose quickly, right? No, but you probably can. Two Pokemon, that shouldn't take long. Boing boing. <laughs> My health bar barely moved. shock. That's special, isn't it? Yeah. No. I got cross poison. I don't think I'll ever replace it. You're not supposed to work me over like that. there. Cool. Okay, it looks like these grunts are <coughs> placed in a way that I have to battle them. Shit, I didn't read your... I didn't read your stuff. Sorry, I... let's just imagine he just came up and just started battling with no words. He's a man of few words. The only things he ever says is Bronzor, use... Blah, blah, blah. Well, I guess he didn't even say anything there. Okay. Musty isn't really powerful enough to kill a gold ban one hit, most likely, but... Let's see if I can avoid, like, stop him saying anything. <laughs> no, he's about to say something. He said, go back, use poison fang, and that's all he said. And just for the sake of consistency... Let's make him say nothing. <laughs> right, moving on. Yeah, I can't avoid you, can I? Nope. <laughs> You've worked so hard to get here. You should be proud of yourself. And now I'll send you packing with only that happy fault. Do you know who I am? <laughs> you think you can win? Is that what the guy said? Another goal back. Oh, I'm sure I can win. Like one of them said I was being cocky, like a while ago, one of them said I was being cocky when I said literally nothing. Now I'm, I guess I'm being a little cocky, but I feel like it is kind of warranted. Uh, 
Bye bye, Bronzor. And Glamio. Well done, you got hit in and stopped me attacking. Well done. Didn't help you though at all, did it? What? How dare you? That's that's how you respond to my generosity? <clears throat> what generosity? Right. That's it. Uh, rah, 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 rah. Yeah, let's just go for it. Got one more battle to go. Something huge is gonna happen, I think. Maybe? Right? Don't meddle around. Of course you're going to, aren't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down to the ground. Alright, good luck. Two are like the highest ranking grunts, hence why <coughs> you're guarding literally the creation of a new universe. <laughs> but still, all you've got is a stunky. Well, you got a stunky on your lead. You're leading with a stunky when you are like guarding probably the most important thing to Team Galactic ever. I guess Dustox makes a little bit more sense because it's a fully evolved Pokemon, but still. Like, why aren't you ha why aren't you using like a Bastiodon or a Rampardos or a Lucario or something like that? <laughs> Got a lurk now though. Okay, no problem. Thanks for the lurk. Hope you have a good day. Excuse me a sec. Okay. Sorry. Rogo? And that's it. Bye bye, Krogunk. And now we're on to the big, the bit, the, the, ah! the higher ups of Team Galactic. The toughest of all the grunts. That was me. Ah, I let some little kid beat me. Well, that was just pathetic. We're going to let you. We're just going to let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. <laughs> they both say the same thing. Uh, do some Mimi milk. Be right back in just a minute or so. Let's just irresponsibly eat some random plants. <laughs> but, ow! Ah! 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 Put the PDA away! Ah! I'm stuck! I am literally stuck in the PDA. Like. Oh! Okay, I'm free. Ah! Give me that back. Give me that flare back. F fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. 
Okay, we're good. Actually, I took the battery out of the resource scanner. I have to go and meet Maida first before I can do that. <coughs> Warm me up. Oh, okay. <laughs> when I said warm me up, I didn't mean burn me. Thank you very much. <laughs> and grab a ride. God! What was I supposed to do there? That's never happened before. I want some more smarties. <laughs> doing <laughs> you're right there um. are you okay I think he's fine <laughs> Chan. See if I can catch that. Mike's a bit far away from my mouth. I do apologize. That should be a bit better. Oh, nah. Oh, nice. I caught it. Now all will end and everything will begin. With this red chain, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time. changing. This will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. Can you feel... <coughs> can you feel time distorting? Only I can choose to stop it. God, imagine if the sky actually looked like that. How weird that would be. This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh. Dialga, the de ancient deity of time. Gugugaba. This world cannot be molded into the ultimate world I seek. It's far easier to create an entirely new world than to change this one. A new world in which I am the ruler of all things. I shall become a deity. Yeah, Dialga's not mythical. It is a legendary. <laughs> they are two dis di they are two different distinctions. There's no need to rush. I can understand that you want to battle our boss real bad, but you'll have to go through me first. After all, you made me look bad more times than I care to remember. Uh two. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Hold on one second. Don't you start a party about me. Huh. If it Well, if it isn't the little boy who ran off crying at Lake Acuity. Did you get any tougher since then? We'll beat you two on two. Does the boss not get a name? Yeah, his name's Cyrus. But I guess he prefers to go by boss. Double bronze ore. Shit. 
I was hoping that I would prevent that. And of course it's me who gets confused. Why are you teaming up on me? Team up on Munchlax. <laughs> well, well done, Munchlax, for taking down that Bronzor. <laughs> Honey Pops wants to learn Sand too. Yeah, sure, I'll get rid of Smackdown for a bit more variety in types. for Progly, don't you think, Mars? I guess she doesn't want to send a Golbat out against a, gol a Crowbat. <coughs> for fuck's sake. Doesn't bother us. We're special. Uh, we're physical attackers. Yeah, how's it feel, Karakali? Come on, Nosti, you can do it. Why me? Why not Munchlax? Nice. That might help a little bit. Oh god, Nosti, you're about to die. That would have been better on for ugly munchlax. Hey Slack, how are you doing today? I'm alright, I'm actually well rested compared to yesterday when I was absolutely exhausted the whole stream. <laughs> hey yeah, I'm alright today. How are you doing? Thank you for going live on a free day. Wow. Going live on a free day? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> All good, just on lunch break. Ah, okay. <laughs> what you got for lunch then? Oh, speaking of lunch, I'm actually hungry. Sandwiches, you would much rather be home streaming, but hey ho. Yeah, I'd rather be streaming than. Well. I guess it depends on, like, if I'm at work. Like, I guess it depends on what work I'm actually doing. Because you could argue that this is work for me. <laughs> the planner in Twitter says offline. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, I did post a tweet, like, reply to that, saying that, like, I had swapped Monday and Tuesday around. But then I streamed anyway yesterday, so, yeah, maybe I should have left a tweet saying, like, even though I streamed on Monday, like, I swapped it and then went live on Monday, I was still going live today. Like, yeah, like, those schedules always change. So yeah, check the replies just to see if there has been an update. <laughs> Alright, goodbye Bolt. Go back! Take down, no. Oh 
some lot of status conditions this battle. Two paralysis, two poison. There's not going to be a burn on Scun Tank unless it heals. Ooh, nice! You're switching! Tony Tar. Why not Empoleon? <laughs> like, that would have been nice. Okay then. Thank you, Sven. Some tank. All right, should just be one goal back left. Finish it off, Ponyta. <coughs> Damn it. Oh, could have burned it. That would have been convenient. I should have done the fighting myself. <laughs> you toughened up, but you're no match for our boss. <laughs> My vote went a tough right. I can get even tougher. <coughs> but you know what? That's it for us. We fit the wall. Molly, I help you out with this. Thank you very much. Barry fully healed our hero's Pokemon. Hey, Molly, this is it. It's your show now. Bye. Yeah, he's just scared, isn't he? Oh, Dialga, this is... Fantastic. Beautiful. It's the creation of a new galaxy. My new world. Oh, what? See, I'm not doing anything. Like, this is all the Lake Trio doing this. Hi, neighbor. The red chain, it crumbled away to nothing? But why? Why would Mesprit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? But never mind that. It's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone. I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. What kind of I... place is this? Yeah, that's Cyrus right now. But before I even think about that, I'm gonna completely crush you. <coughs> Go on then. I dare you. How many bits can fit in that cup? I don't know. It depends on... Depends on which type of bit you're talking about. God, I don't even know how big a bit is, honestly. <laughs> because I know all the different bits are different sizes. Be 
Yeah, sorry, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm trying to think, but I can't. I don't have a clue. <laughs> also, when you put bits in, they kind of like scatter all over the place, so it's probably quite hard to actually fill the cup. Really up tile. Let's see if I can catch that. Using such weak potions. Wait, what happened to full restore, Cyrus? Goodbye, Haunch Crow. You go, Max of. 4G US on phone till next time. Okay, well, if that's you leaving, Sven, then <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you hopefully next stream. Bye! Gyarados, that's a star tail job. Intimidate that Gyarados, and it intimidates me. Yeah. Damn it! No Helioptile for me then. Nice. Please don't hit me. Gyarados. Weavile. That's a clamber flame job. I'm guessing it probably has a chuckleberry, so I'm just gonna go for flamethrower. Oh, or it's gonna go for dig. Whatever, I'll take it. Nice. Crowbat. And I'm going to send out my Crobat for the fun of it. So Rabbit and Golbat versus Crobat, it's Crobat versus Crobat. I admit you have pushed me to this extreme. Mine's higher level, but I'm guessing this Crobat might be like EV trained. Well, now with Tailwind, Heat's faster. <coughs> but it seems like I'm doing more damage. This, this cannot be! It is not possible that I can lose! Consider how easily you lost before. And that was like half an hour ago. True, you have buffed up your team quite a bit in that half an hour, but still. I think I got this. Yeah. <laughs> I win. I won't accept this, the power spoken in mythology. I didn't just make it obey me, I made it my own. But Dialga's not a mythical. 
What is truly the ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? Victory Screech! <laughs> the most important thing, what shines the brightest? Telling you is meaningless, but I will not give up. I will become a deity one day, and I will make the ultimate mine. So you're just wanting to make an ultimate explosive? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I was trying to move. Dialga, the master of time. It's impossible to tell if it is enraged or saddened. But to me, Dialga appears to be waiting for you, Molly. It seems to be challenging you as a test. Go on, Molly. Face up to Dialga. Listen to its heart. Understand its faults. Dialga is out of control after being dragged out by the red chain and forced to use its power. Dialga seems to be trusting you to stop it. Molly, I just ran into Barry. He said that he believed in you. He said that you could get the job done. I think so too. You've got to help that Pokemon. It's suffering from being dragged out by Team Galactic. Okay. Wait, do I need to heal? <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that pretty fast. A little bit of a strain on my throat, though, doing it again and again. <laughs> you nearly popped in last night, but nearly wiped yourself out over New Year's. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sounds like you had a fun night. I have had one or two. <laughs> All right. See if I can get this Dialga. Gug Yagaba. Dialga appeared. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, that didn't do much. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, that's clever. Oh god, yeah, Clumber Flame did not stand much of a chance there. Okay, we're in the red. Nosti might be about to die. Or not. Throw a great ball at it. by Nosti. <laughs> Come on, I want to catch this thing. Oh, 
Oh god. That was not what I wanted to see. This place counts as a cave, therefore the dust ball is more effective, or maybe not. Goodbye, Star Tail. Sandy Sweat! Oh shit, now Dialga is going to be impossible to catch. Oh, what the heck. Master Ball, go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what the heck, I'll use a Master Ball. I think that's the first time I've actually used a Master Ball. <laughs> Ever. some of the thunder from Dialga. <laughs> Luminion, the neon Pokemon, and the evolved form of Finneon. It lives on the deep sea floor. It attracts prey by flashing patterns on its four fins. <laughs> Dialga, the temporal Pokemon. It has the power to control time. It appears in Sinner region myths as an ancient deity. Molly, I don't know how you... You are magnificent. Truly, you are incredible. I've lived for 60 years, but I've never been thrilled like this. Since the last time, the professor did a lot of research. He became very worried about you. Molly, <laughs> so he came out to a place as terrible as this. Molly, I'm glad to see you're safe. Let's leave this place already. Why is this place terrible? No one has the right to take away anyone's future or anyone's world. Before we go... Adam and Orb. <laughs> uh, I think it'll be in here... No. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's at the bottom. We'll give that to Dialga. And here's my new team member. <laughs> Pretty quiet and mischievous. <laughs> kind of weird for a Dialga, but okay. Have Clamber Flame hold the Adamant Orb for now. <laughs> right, so with that, I'm gonna call it for today. <laughs> Alright, let's see who I can read. Uh... Hmm, looks like no one's online. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> huh. Yeah, Lottie's online. <laughs> Let's go raid her since um, she was in my stream yesterday. So let's go watch her. She's playing Scarlet and Violet doing a fairy type Nuzlocke, I believe. So yeah, <laughs> thank you all for watching me today and I will see you in the next stream maybe tomorrow. Bye!